Hi there. So while my son is learning his tables in the living room, I've stolen a few moments on my own in his bedroom to shoot a quick uh, makeup tutorial. I uh, do a lot of um, events, corporate events, and most of the time I'm doing my own makeup unless it's a televised event or unless it's uh, something um, that is editorial. So I'm used to doing my makeup um, a fair amount uh, and um, I keep a really small compact kit and I can do my makeup in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, I hope it's of some use to you. So uh, first up I've uh, moisturized my skin and I have put primer on it and the first product I'm going to use is this um, dark peach corrector. Uh, this is probably my favorite makeup product ever because what this does is this uh, totally cancels out the gray in your dark circles so if anyone was to ever ask me if there's one particular product just one particular product you couldn't do without I suppose it would be this one a lot of people would say cold pencil, kajal pencil, etc. But in my case, I think this dark peach corrector does magic. I feel I don't even need a concealer when I use this. As you can see, it's, it's kind of cancelled out the grey under the eyes. And now I'm ready to put on my liquid uh, makeup. This is my... This is the shade that I've been using, Honey, uh, from Bobbi Brown. One and a half, two pumps should be enough. So this liquid base is what I've been using for a couple of years and my fingers are my most favorite tool. I feel that I can blend my makeup with my fingers better than I than I can with a brush. Of course, I do use a brush later, a buffer brush, to give it a better blend. But to begin with, it's always with my fingers. I feel the fingers reach those parts of the face that a brush sometimes can't, like the inner eye area. And on either side of the nose and it's important to not forget the sides there you go and now I'm going to take a buffer brush and kind of give it a little better blend right. now I'm going to take my pressed powder I've been using either NC42 of MAC or this is medium tan uh, and I am going to seal in the makeup with another brush. I used to enjoy using a puff a lot but I haven't used a, a puff on my face for the longest time unless I'm in a very uh, warm place where the air conditioning isn't working or there is no air conditioning then a puff comes in handy then but otherwise I've always used a brush for my powder there you go so base done powder done now come the eyes I have a palette which is 
something like this which has a couple of shimmery colors and a couple of matte colors as well first up I take a brush that looks something like this and the darkest color that one I run over my eyebrows with this brush a lot of people feel they need an angular brush for the eyebrows but to tell you the truth the brush I'm using is a lip brush and it gives a really nice soft natural feel to the eyebrows you see the difference and I think the eyebrow game really has to be strong because I think the eyebrows are that feature that totally frame your face accentuating the arch a little bit there you go that makes all the difference now using the same palette and an eyeshadow brush it's a roundish brush that looks like that I'm going to take a matte color this this one and cover my upper lid with it I don't like colors that are pearly and that are lighter than my skin color. I like neutrals and for me, my only rule of thumb is it's got to be darker than my skin color. So darker neutrals, browns, bronzes, grays, but I like warm neutrals. So there we go. And with my finger, just a dot here and a dot here. Give it a good blend. It shouldn't shine and jump out. There you go. Now I'm going to take a little kajal pencil. And I, a friend of mine gifted this, Remy. My friend Ashka sent this to me. And beautiful, smooth. gel pencil which I'm running over the upper eyelid there you go always nice to have a little bit of wing and I like to put it in the lower on the lower lid just halfway through not the whole way just halfway there you go I believe I have close set eyes so I don't like to take the eyeliner pencil all the way in though when I'm doing a sari or Indian clothes I do take the kajal pencil all the way through to the inner eye as well but for the moment I've done it up to the halfway point then I take this fantastic palette and use the same brown that I used for my eyebrows and kind of seal in and blend the color a little bit under the eyes that halfway point and above the eyes just give it a little blend soften the color a little bit leave that wing, wing intact are more or less done I'm not a fan of uh, lashes unless a makeup artist absolutely absolutely insists I don't like to wear lashes I'm a big fan of mascara and I've tried all the mascaras in the world <laughs> but I have a couple of favorites I find that these fat 
Maybelline tubes are the best. Zoom Lash is something I've used before, but it hasn't worked for me as much as the Maybelline mascaras. Volume Express, this one is called Lash Sensational. I think these give me a lot of volume. Volume is what I like more than length. And as I said, I don't like using false eyelashes because I feel they make my eye look really heavy. I feel I have deep set eyes, so I don't like to wear lashes. And sometimes I find if they're not put properly, uh, if they're not attached properly, the symmetry is off. And that really disturbs me. There we go. Eyes are done. Now, with a brush, I am going to take a nice warm blush and it's a fake smile, but <laughs> that's how you get the apples of your cheeks. And I have this uh, MAC bronzing powder which is not really very shimmery uh, it's great for contouring so it doesn't have shimmer or shine but and I feel I have a rather broad nose so this cuts the nose narrows down the nose and a little bit over here in the center as well and as a final final I am going to use this lovely highlighting powder it's a golden bronze it's called global glow and I'm just going to put it down here cheeks and if my <laughs> if my collarbones are showing a little bit there as well and a pop on the shoulders why not right now let me tell you about my story with lipstick I'm not a fan of lipstick at any given point of time I don't have lipstick on but having said that when I do get dressed up when I'm wearing a gown or anything uh, it's a little dramatic I like to wear dark red lips I'm not a fan of a lip liner so either it's dark lips or nude lips right I'm gonna do nude lips and I don't use a lip liner again I use my fingers to just make it look like a stain let me let you in on a little secret. I haven't had a chance to go to the hairstylist to cut my hair, so I cut my fringe yesterday in the bathroom. I don't think I've done a very bad job of it. So, here you go. My makeup took all of 12, 11, 12 minutes. A lot of time went in explaining as well. And this is what the final product and the final look is that's the makeup I used very very limited kit and in all of 12 minutes 11 or 12 minutes you can be done with your makeup truth is I have absolutely no patience to sit on a makeup artist chair so I like to do my makeup on my own and I think I know my face pretty well so this is how I do it I hope it helps you and uh, call this quarantine makeup or call this uh, makeup under 15 minutes but either way it's quick and 
reasonably effective. Cheers.